So did you get your part of the group work done? Well, I did, but then my dog ate it. <laughs> your dog better puke it up. How does this solve anything? <laughs> Wasn't that pretty much the worst Boston Crab you've ever seen? So tonight's Raw is taking place in Philadelphia, where the crowds are always awesome. Now, if you remember last time they were in Philadelphia, CM Punk, Daniel yes. Bryan, Woo. and Zack Ryder, Woo. WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion, and US Champion. Things aren't so happy this time. Punk pretty much came out as a motivational speaker. He brought up that Chris Jericho wasn't in the building tonight, but of course the night can't go without Y2J. Punk, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that about your father. It's your destiny, eh? And Punk responds with a word that's pretty much covered up. I'm just wondering why he couldn't say it, because last week, John Cena said he could do this. Ah! The next match we have is Kane versus The Big Show. Kane wins with a choke slam, but you know that's not what I was paying attention to. Whoa! They show a pretty hilarious video package of The Big Show. Cody Rhodes pretty much pulls out the longest pair of handcuffs I've ever seen. Rhodes handcuffs The Big Show and gets a few licks in. <laughs> you should have seen his footwork. And Rhodes takes off before the referees are managed to free The Big Show. <laughs> you know we got my favorite one coming up next, Mr. Botunga. Now he's facing Santino tonight and the distraction from Johnny Ace allows Botunga to capitalize on a distracted Santino with a spine buster. And if you want to see two men flexing, you better watch the opening of this match because there were two men flexing. Now my favorite part of this segment though was when Teddy Long slapped Johnny Ace and he ran up to the top of the ramp and showed us the best dance moves I have ever seen. I get excited when they have these little promos of people that are coming in, new wrestlers, and we got Lower Tensai coming in. I don't know if I even said it right. I'm just like, who is that? What does he do? Uh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> now I had a really good laugh when The Rock came on the Titan Tron and there was dead silence. There's one thing I've noticed about The Rock and that he loves loving the city that he's in. It's a cheap pop, but I guess it's a great pop if you can get it. I also loved how during The Rock's promo, they kept cutting to people that were like not really that excited. Now they're bringing back the Attitude Era again. They've done it, they're doing it again and getting closer and closer and closer, but are they gonna do it? Probably not, it's kind of getting tiring. Yes! Yes! Next up, we finally get to see the Woo 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 Kid in action against Daniel Bryan. The one thing that I hope for in my life, that if I ever like break my back about a month, I'm perfectly physically fit again. Unfortunately, Ryder was not fit enough to win this match. Yes! Yes! Hey, AJ. I just want to let you know I'm still available, and no, I might not be world champion, but boy howdy! Oh, Do I ever love Pringles? Mmm, it's so good, AJ. Just think about how much fun we could have eating Pringles together. So if you've been living under a hole and haven't heard that John Cena's been in a car accident, he's been in one, but he's okay. And straight out of that car accident, he's facing Mark Henry. Now all I have to say about this match is pretty much as if Cena was going to lose his match tonight. Well this segment pretty much turned into a let's destroy Mark Henry segment and my Twitter feed loved it. I've decided that if you just go ahead and hashtag the raw loaf, it'll be so much easier if anybody even cares to have their tweets even mentioned. So Kelly Kelly's on Extra or E or whatever show Maria Menounos is on and Beth Phoenix and Eve show up and the only thing that I took away from that whole segment was We are not in the ring, you kid! Touch me here! Now The Miz comes out and he shoots a quick little promo and then we get a match between The Miz and The Fella. Now here's essentially what happened. I'm going to be on Jimmy Fallon on Wednesday, so tune in and see what I'm going to be talking about, eh? So Josh Matthews interviews Randy Orton on the entrance ramp stage. I can't even remember the last time we've seen that. We get a little Be A Star promo. Now y'all can hate the Be A Star foundation all you want, but boy howdy do I ever wish when I was seven years old. The Ultimate Warrior would come to my school and tell me to stop bullying. I would have stopped bullying like nobody else. I mean like put an end to bullying, not that I was a bully. And now we get 
the two newest members to Botungas. I can't even say it with a straight face. You're cocking Botunga. <laughs> We get Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler. Should be just called Team 4G. Tag team match between Team 4G and R-Truth and Kofi Kingston. The match ends with R-Truth getting pinned by Dolph Ziggler. R-Truth puts his foot up on the rope and then Vicky Guerrero does a dirty and pushes his foot right off of the rope. Now Oksana sees it and she goes over to Vicky pushes her down, and then they jump in the ring and start basically bumping their boobs together. It was probably the greatest moment of the night. I really hope something happens on these promos really soon between these three, because I would like something to happen. Thanks for tuning in to episode 3 of my show, now titled The Raw Loaf. If you got a better title, please let me know, because that's the best I could come up with. If you like this show, please go on to King of the Web and vote for me on there. Link's in the description. Or heck, even like this video or post some comments. Thanks.